Oh, okay, you're evolving. Cool, I guess. Already got an evolution on the way. Where are we going? Oh, well, that's really disappointing. We actually had a cool form, and immediately you evo you have evolved into disappointment. Now I understand how my parents feel. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see those behind the boxes. The copper or rose gold um, frying pan. and what? Why would you go for black and gold and then black and like rose gold here? No, no. Why would you do that? That is the worst decision. At least stick. If you're going to have a crap aesthetic, at least stick with it. <laughs> at least be consistent. <laughs> Love it. What? What? The power of friendship. Like, oh my gosh. Why would you do that? This game is so dumb. <laughs> Everyone, thank you. Now what? Like, are they just gone? Do they come back? Why would they come back? Like, that has not been explained at all. Oh God. Okay. Ah, ah, things everywhere. Ah, don't know what I'm doing. Ah! Kaboomerang, help me. Please. That's too easy. Please tell me. Oh, what to do? Quit the game. I love her. <laughs> <coughs> Have it your way then. Please step on me. Wait, what? <laughs> and do we get the visual? Do we get the visual? Do we get the visual? And there it is. One minute. There it is. Yes. So, <laughs> this is not me trying to stereotype. This is actually from Australia. My uh, great aunt used to live in Australia. And so gave me this on one of her trips back. So, on his chest, he, she has the word Australia with the flag embroidered on its chest because, I guess, animal cruelty. Do not ding dong bing bong me now. No! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I was right there. I was three steps away. Uh, uh, uh. I it should be in the kitchen. <gasps> the Wi-Fi whales! Everything must change. Wi-Fi, the guardians of Wi-Fi must be put into place. Ooh, that don't look good. You look a little bit dead. They'll kill my son. <gasps> he has a son. Are we the father? Uh, wait, uh, your son? Then that's our cue to leave. See you later, Vector and SBO. Give him heck. And if you need any meat chopped, say the word. I don't want any meat chopped by you ever, Vector. Please never chop any meat of mine. I probably just have to delete some files, and then he'll be all set. Oh, I love her. Oh, I, ju I love her. She's so cute. It has our bus tickets in it, and... Oh, no, I'm really torn, because we need that bus ticket. Oh gosh, what do I do? I haven't got time. Oh, I'm gonna keep it! No! No! Sorry. What are we gonna do? We can't stay here. Oh, I feel like such an awful human. We have to find a safe place for Oliver. Oh. I'm so sorry, honey. I don't know what happened. They were no, right so here in sorry. my bag. I... You're humans, though. You'll be fine. I am nearly dead. <laughs> I'm knocking everything off, I got too excited. Didn't break anything. It's fine. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs>
And like that, we are live! Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stream! My microphone's a little bit loud, but it is good to have you with us on this wonderful Thursday evening. I hope you're having a good day, good middle of your week, all that good stuff. Today, we're going to be diving back into the world, as you can see, of Princess Peach Showtime. We were having some fun with this last time, so I'm excited to see what else it has in store. It's very exciting. Hello, hello, hello. Apologies for the slight delay there. I was just sorting some stuff out on the back end of YouTube. And it took a little bit longer than I anticipated. But we're here now, so hello. Thank you so much for being with me. It is good to have you. Today, I'm excited to see what other costumes or whatever things we have. We Remember, we're going to be voting on a new outfit for Peach. Because we are going to change their outfits every time. That is the plan anyway. Who is texting me? Oh, it is the wonderful Queen mod, Steffi, who is not available for this stream. But let's see who is available for today's stream in the chat. We have Ollie. Grass, hello, Starry, uh, Ghostly, hello, Sabina, hi, Toothless, Zuzu loves, great to have you guys, Akira, thanks so much, friend, Vanessa, Lexus, hi, Senalu, it is great to have you guys, thanks so much for tuning in, Honeybee, hi, Venice, Vanessa, Feisty, hello, Sunny, hi, Richard, hi, Good to have you, Wada. Hello, Nikki, film fanatic. It is great to have you guys. Uh, Elination? Is that how that's pronounced? Elination? But it is great to have you, friend, regardless. Hornet, hello. Good to have you all. Thanks so much. Glitch Dragon, hi. Oh, it's Claire, hello. The Winged Leviathan. It's great to have you all. Ruby, Jedi Mike, hi. Wow, feels like a lot of people in chat today. That's great. So good to see you all. Thanks so much. Apologies if there's anyone I missed. The list is getting longer and longer. Zekron, Johnny, hi. It is getting longer and longer and it's getting harder and harder to keep up with uh, what's going on. It's getting harder and harder to keep up with everyone. There are so many names. Oh, we're 40 strong today. That is great to hear, Ghostly. How are you doing on this wet and windy day night, Tom? I'm okay. The thing is with wet and windy nights or with like any kind of like horrible, horrible weather. I work, literally, I work in this room. This closet of a room is where I work, my nine to six. And then I stream from here. So I like never leave the house. I'm trying to be better at leaving the house. But where the weather's also miserable, it doesn't entice me. The main thing I noticed was I got to lunchtime and went out into my kitchen to get lunch and was then like why is it so dark so i'm doing okay it's fine lexus audition for beauty and the beast and i got cogsworth congratulations cogsworth is a great part in beauty and the beast <clears throat> i actually had it was a hilarious british university they cast the australian to pray, play cogsworth <laughs> he did it fantastically to be fair did it absolutely fantastically i re i played maurice in beauty and the beast so that was really fun Got to be all kind of like nasally and up here. And kind of going, oh, my daughter's amazing. Um, no, I'm not odd nor you. No family could be saner. Except one uncle who, well, maybe let that pass. In all you say or do, you couldn't make it plainer. You are your mother's daughter, therefore you are class. It's a random duet that Maurice and Belle sing it, like me and uh, the girl that played Belle. Actually, there's a video, if you wanna go, you can see me singing with the girl who was my Belle on uh, my dead channel. There's a song uh, song called um, Something Stupid, and me and Rosie did a duet of that song um, because we bonded so strongly when we did that show, to the point where apparently her dad said he got a little bit jealous because of the relationship we had on stage. So I was like, win. Love that. Hypercloud, hello. I've just seen your name pop up as well. Good to have you. Why did you un-British for a second? Yeah, we were all putting on American accents for that show. And it was weird. It was very, very strange. Uh, they, they was just a creative decision. They asked us to put on American accents so that characters like Cogsworth and Lumiere stood out. So I, I was talking like this quite a lot because I was the inventor, but like we, we grayed my hair and stuff, but obviously I was a younger Morris. I was kind of like in my like 50s-ish rather than like kooky, totally kooky 80s kind of character. But yeah, it is, um, something stupid is great. Rosie is fantastic. She's an actress, but she's also a uh, writer of kids books. If you need a book for your kids, let me tell you the Jolly Bees 
and The Soctopus. Fantastic kids books. Honestly, and that's not just me being biased because it's my friend. They are genuinely brilliant. I bought them for every niece and every nephew and every godchild I have. They are amazing. But yeah, congrats on the roll, uh, Lexus. It's great to hear. How's my day, Nikki? My day's going all right. My day's good, actually. I've been working on a script. There's just, there's a couple of IP and a couple of franchises that I get to work on occasion that I really, really enjoy. And today was just one of those days I got to work on a script that I was just really feeling. I'm just like, I'm really excited for that one to come out. Uh, just because I was really, really feeling it as I was writing it. I was like, oh yeah, this feels good. So I'm excited for that one. Some words in British accents. Interesting. That's an interesting choice for an American choir to be asked to sing in a British accent. Because we don't sing in British accents. You'll often, again, if you go and look at all my old singing videos, you'll notice that I sing with a, what they would probably call an American accent. It's not strictly, but what it is, it's to do with vowels. So Americans have much more open vowels than the British do. We tend to do like, you know, um... Well, Tom. Tom's a great example. Tom. Oh, oh, oh. It's a much more closed vowel. Whereas Tom is much more open. If you're a Tom, it's a much more open sound. And so when you're singing, you often need to sing big open mouths, particularly in like choral and classical. And so you then are like, um, it's a lot of ah and oh. It's a lot of like ah sounds. Because even you'll hear it, even O's kind of become like an ah sound in singing. And so it's a lot of like ah. Oh, like out that sort of thing which means you've got a big open mouth so because if you do this or you try and go oh it's it's really hard particularly when you get higher notes to hit those notes because you've got no like space for the, the the sound to come out and so they're much harder to control and so though if you hear those singers that sound like they're super british when they're singing chances are they're putting it on most of the time they're putting it on as a bit or as like a as a way to help them differentiate themselves vocally, uh, because it is not actually the natural way to sing, especially in uh, choral and classical stuff. So naturally, when you go, you know, when when I was singing, you know, um, what was the one I did recently? Um, uh, I close my eyes and I can see the day we met. Just one moment and I knew. It's much more American because it's all one moment. So like moment in a UK accent is moment, unt, which is very close. But I'm saying moment, which is much more Americanized. So you get that sort of thing happening. So fascinating that he was telling you to sing them with a British accent. That is weird to me. That is really weird to me. Um, because again... In British choir, we're often taught to do the opposite. It's like, funk it up, open up the vowels. Let's go for an American style. <clears throat> Just catching up. Maddie, hello. Great to have you. Patricia, hi. Yeah, I did not know Adele was British. It's the same kind of thing, right? <laughs> Faith, hello. Stop releasing music. Oh, that would mean I'd have to have time to write music. I'd love to collaborate with some people. There are some people I would love to work with. Um, probably not in the writing, just because again, time restriction. <clears throat> but uh, I'd, but potentially, like I'd love to work with Ryder, um, who you might know as Foot of a Ferret who used to work for theorists, did the style theory and film theory and GT Live theme tunes. Um, like, really, really talented guy. I'd love to work with him because he does a lot of music and a lot of guitar. I'd love to be, like, a guest vocalist on a track with him. I'd love to do uh, Random Encounters would be awesome to get to work with. I'd also love to work with uh, 
uh, Stipendium. I think Stipendium would be cool. Be cool to, I mean, I know Dorco does stuff as well. It'd be lovely to, if Dorco wanted me to guest on a, on a track, I'd love to do that. It, the challenge is that often I can't be involved in the writing of stuff. I need, like, if it's like, it's that thing of like, if you're going to do like, if Stipendium was like, you're going to do rapping in the verses, like, I'll come in and sing the chorus, but I can't <laughs> necessarily do stuff. Yeah, Loving Riders, Breakdown of the Theorist vs. Music. Yeah, those are great videos. I'm thoroughly enjoying those. Tom and Matt duet when? Oh, man. I'd love to duet with Matt. I think it'd be hilarious. I think we should do um What You Own from Rent. Don't, don't breathe too deep. Don't think all day. Dive into work. Drive the other way. That drip of hurt, that pint of shame goes away. Just play the game. You're living in America at the end of the millennium. You're living in America. Leave your conscience at the tone. Because that's what you went with Roger, where it's um, where you have the higher part with Roger. So I think that could be amazing fun to do that. Because I know he's actually, I think he did Roger's part, which is high, which I'm surprised for him. But I think he did um, the, uh, part of that song. I think you can find it on Game Theory, actually. If you go all the way back, I think you can find that stuff. Anyway, we should probably get into this game. We'll continue chatting, but we should probably get into the game because it's been like almost 20 minutes and we've just been chatting. It's been great fun, though, going down memory lane. <clears throat> Please stop being American. Can't help it. Um, like I say, I can't help it because uh, especially Rent. Rent is very American. Rent is incredibly, it's like, it's just like built in American in its, in its characters. You know, it's New York, right? The filmmaker cannot see. So you've all got to sing, but I see Mimi everywhere. It's so, so just in that range. Right. What do we go for? I'm thinking we go for either flowers or disco. So sword fighter or disco. Let me get up the thing. Oh, it's not typing. Of course it's not. <gasps> so, sword fighter or disco? It's a close race. It's a very close race. Dang. Good job, guys. Well, we're at 32 votes, but someone has to come in and break the time. Sword Fighter has just pulled away in that. I don't know when that closed officially. It closed at 50 50. When I hit the close button, it was at Sword Fighter. So that is the one we are going to go for for now. I will buy it for 300 coins. Why not? Yes. But we've also got Oh no, you're you're in the sword fighter um collar, so we'll leave you as is. Yeah, I closed it when it said 52 and 48, and then literally as I clicked it it changed, which is a bit of a shame. Very close though. Right, where do we get to? So we did ice skate. Yeah, we did them all. We were just left with this one, right? Showtime. <clears throat> Showtime. The link's not working. Let me know. I can fix that. Oh, no. I've forgotten all the voices. Kind of like this, weren't they? That was kind of the voices of the main, the feats. <laughs> Let her rip. He 
peach time. Peach time indeed. Huh? <gasps> Whoa! Look at all these weird posters. I wonder what that's all about. Let's look around. How sour thieves are the worst. Thank you, thank you. Lots of coinage. You have to just press B around the place a lot to kind of see. Because there's all like these broken things which feel like they're going to do something, but they don't also don't seem to be. I should be careful too, miss. Okay. What's that? Oh. Jewelry thievery. Oh, dang. <coughs> yeah, I knew something was going to do a thing. Be brave. I believe in you. See, you're all fine now. Thank you. Remember, it's the power of friendship. Or encouragement. Or pretty girls. I'm, I'm not sure if we decided what the ribbon power was, but it seemed to be like whenever... It just seemed to encourage people. It's like, I gotta do it. And then she's like, yes, you can. Yes, I can. <clears throat> okay, so we can't do anything with them. I guess we're going down here. That spotlight trick would work. Oh, interesting. That's going to be a weird mechanic to play with. Oh, you managed to slip past those guards, huh? With those kinds of skills, then perhaps follow me, will ya? <clears throat> this way! <gasps> this is the spot. I've got a good feeling about you. Yep, you should be right for the job. <clears throat> Hello, buddy! We're secret agents that protect the city. Oh, so it's not robber, it's a secret agent we're gonna play. Go. <clears throat> Hello, Snake. Great to have you, friend. <laughs> Secret Agent Peach. Oh, she's actually quite cool. Dash oh no, she's a dashing thief. Interesting. She is a thief. But she's working for the secret agents. How does that work? Whoa, okay. We need to infiltrate their buildings. We've been supporting you. We'll be supporting you along the way. Okie dokie. Yes. Ow. Okay, so I definitely do need to do that. Okie doke. Yeah. 
Prvi sniki, upla, baby, wuhu, wahu, that's what your boyfriend says, right, wahu, oh, interesting, okay, so that's how we do that, okay, weird, <coughs> I guess, I guess we have to be a thief because we're trying to stop the bad guys. We're trying to like steal the jewels back, but it feels it does feel weird to call us a thief. Mm. Oh. Easy. <laughs> Dang, these are big levels. Dang. Wasn't letting me get back up top, that's all right. No, come on. I'm trying to just go up. There we go. It was sending me too far. It was sending me, guys. Am I cool? Am I hit with Gen Z now? He's so hip. I am just exactly. See, you guys get it. I'm so hip. <laughs> I appreciate you guys humoring me. Ow. Go up at least. Uh, but I see. So you could, I could have gotten a thing if I'd been more patient. Uh, a one of those star sparkle gems or whatever they're called. You did it. Oh, let's not fall into that. Nope, I did. Nice. Yeah, we missed a bunch during this level. Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> Peach just going, yeah, you're just paraglide now. It's probably fine. Who needs training or skill of any kind? You are rocking that look. Has to be said. Has to be said. Not as much as the flipping uh, ice skater, but you're rocking the look. Whew. 
Peach's new calm in San Diego. <laughs> Good job, Peach. Now we got a boss fight, I believe. <laughs> Amy and Peach need Peach and Amy need to partner for Star Theory. They do. They do. So uh, there's got to be some kind of Star Theory on her dresses and outfits, surely. All right, let's blast open this door with the power of the sparkle. Can you give me some of the sparkle gems you collected? Only 50? Oh, for, oh yeah. Come on, girl. I got you. I got you. Frames. I still can't get over how bad that frame rate is. I wonder if there's like an up, uh, day one patch or something that I missed. <gasps> what are we facing this time? Ah! <laughs> well, well, if it isn't the scared little rodents who have been scurrying to and fro about my theater. <laughs> so, what do you think of my productions? Have you been enjoying my terrifying show? Hmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> Answer that later. A little bird told me that you two have been kicking up some dust. Uh. I also heard you managed to save a sparkler. I went to great pains to imprison them. <laughs> Your efforts are adorable, but saving one puny sparkler doesn't change anything. <laughs> Fang, entertain our pesky guests, will you? I'd like to review their performance. <laughs> That's how you know she's evil, Tea Leaf. It's the lashes. That's what give it away. No. Okay, yep, so that is definitely how that works. Okay, interesting. Supposed to get up to here. Oh, dang it, it was not quite close enough. If I can trick you into doing it. Oh, I could have gone up, I see, so I can go up to here. Oh, hello. That is the thing I'm supposed to hit. Oh yeah, press B a lot. Press B a lot. <gasps> Thank you for the heart. Oh, okay. So that's going to do a thing. Oh, wow. Okay, that's going to be tough. How does one do that, then? Oh, he, I see he's going round. Interesting. So that gives you time to potentially... Oh, dang it. Not quite. Okay. He has a pattern here. No, dang it. Missed. No. Dang it. First death. 
Okay, I now understand how this boss works. This is actually a challenge. It's good. Now he's going to start doing this searchy thing. So he's going to do that. He's going to come down. We're going to go up like this. We're going to come up. We're then going to go like this. We're going to go BAM! Just in time, baby. Yeah. Booyah! Wait, if you die, do you lose all your coins? Is that what I've now lost? Or is it just the coins in this level that that was talking about? Let's <laughs> be you. No, I'm gonna miss. Yeah, no, that was unfortunate. Here we are. Hello, buddy. Great to have you. <coughs> Mr. Mustache, hello. Lilith, hi. Great to have you as well. And Jordan, wow, we got a lot of people suddenly coming in. Hello. Frames! The frames! So, Grape is the one responsible for all the trouble in our beautiful theater. She and her motley bunch of ruining our plays. Grr, I won't stand for it. <clears throat> oh, goodness, my throat was not enjoying that voice. <clears throat> we can't allow them to do whatever they want uh, to our beloved theater. Let's restore the rest of the plays as quickly as we can. Let's go. <clears throat> okay, what do we got? We got a uh, uh, patisserie peach, mermaid peach. That's new. Another cowgirl peach. And what is this? Space alien. Like, astronaut? Mighty mission, alien invasion. I'm gonna classify that one as, like... Disco what? What do you mean? Why, why are people saying disco time? Why are people saying disco time? No, disco isn't one of the choices. Cowgirl, patisserie, peach, mermaid. There is no disco option. I'm, I'm confused as to what we are talking about. We are going to vote on what level we do, though. No, outfit changes is once per stream. So at the beginning of every stream, we vote. Otherwise, we're constantly changing. So it's outfit stream once per, once per stream. So we've got mermaid. <clears throat> Not a Q and A. Wrong thing. Poll. There will be a poll. 
I've just got to make it. Mermaid. Cowgirl. I'm just going to say chef because I can't spell patisserie. And I guess a... Astronaut? I guess. Let's say, we are a democracy. So next time we will put the votes up for option and the, the majority wins. It was a very minor majority this time, but it was a majority nonetheless, technically. Mermaid does seem to be winning by a, quite a large landslide at this point. Welcome to the Dapper Kingdom, friend. Great to have you. Become a member. Thanks so much. Okay, we're going to end the poll here. It is an overwhelming win for Mermaid, then Cowgirl, then Astronaut, and then Chef. I'm surprised. I'm surprised that Chef did so badly. I thought you guys loved me talking about Peach's Cake. Let's go. <laughs> uh, seven, honeybee. <laughs> Is she taken? She cheats on Mario with Luigi. We all know this to be true. She's clearly. <laughs> She's clearly not as monogamous as we'd all like her to be. Oh, nice. Got some, some beach vibes going on. I could get used to this. Oh my gosh, there are mermaids. Yes, this is going to be great. Cheer up, turtle friend. I encourage you to be better at encouraging the turtle. <laughs> Just watched that theory for the first time yesterday. It's a good theory. Glad you, you enjoyed it. Oh. I want to know how they're doing that in a theater. You can't have, like, actual water in a theater. But like, so how are you, how, 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 what are the mechanics here? How is this working? Like, they're not actually, are they actually underwater? Because that's like a, a massive health and safety hazard. Especially in a theater, like, this is an open stage. I assume there must be glass. Because otherwise, you can't just, like, have water in an open stage here. We can't hold a concert without a singer. <laughs> Rosa Luna and Mars is awesome. It is. It's one of those early... I remember finding that theory for the first time years ago. And I was just blown away by it. It was when I... Like, I'd been watching the theories, but that was one of the first ones I was like, I genuinely believe this and this is like genuinely something really interesting like from a law perspective huh? here we go <gasps> oh my we got okay Peach is sewing some skin. I mean, like, you know, you do what you do, girl. Enchanting. But I just wasn't expecting a, uh, yeah, wasn't expecting that. We've had no luck finding a singer. You 
you have to join us on stage and perform. You're not on a stage. You're like literally underwater right now. But all these outfits are showing is that P just like got some hips on her. Like she has got that properly like old school Barbie-esque tiny waist going on. Does Peach have a belly button? It looked like an innie to me. The band is now ready for it to begin. No, exactly. Susie loves. I'm saying she can wear whatever she wants. It's just not what I expected. I'm absolutely encouraging her to do what she to wear what she wants as an independent woman. Just surprised me. I think we'll have to cancel the concert. You're so close to performing, but. Because, yeah, like, they're on stage, apparently, in front of an audience. And she can breathe. And sing. Which implies there is no... Which implies there is no... Like, it's not actually water. But then she's swimming. So is it just elaborate wires? Oh, you do that. It's a cool mechanic, not gonna lie. Now, this is entertainment! Oh, Paula! Welcome to the Dapper Kingdom. Thank you for becoming a member, friend. Appreciate it. Good luck with these puny fish! Just realized Paula hasn't joined the Dapper Kingdom, but has three upgraded their membership to a three mu and has been with us for a little while. So thanks so much, friend. Appreciate it. You're upgraded to a Dapper Knight. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Dang! <laughs> See, because now they're in bubbles. See, we've got to break them up, haven't we? That. Nice. 
Oh gosh, yeah, we missed a lot in these later levels. We were getting them all really early on. Now we're like starting to miss them. But I think we got enough that we should be fine. I can't leave the artists waiting. It's like the machine is sentient, apparently. This turtle will carry us there. Now we can get the concert started! Yeah. Sorry for keeping you all waiting! Ah. We'll make today's concert extra special! Ah. Oh. LOL! <laughs> Alright, okay. Apparently there's like a mini game I'm supposed to do here. While holding B, tilt left, tilt L towards the fish as they swim to you. Okay, I need to use the directional buttons. Like, since when has Peach had pipes on her like this? Pauline was the singer in, Ma in Mario Odyssey. It was a great. She did it, had a great song. Here we go up the rails. Don't you know it's time to raise our sails? It's feeling like you never knew. You'll be there in a flash. You can. Now my head is off to you. Come with me, grab coins with me, oh yeah! The tune. Jump up in the air, jump up, don't be scared. Showtime. It's a high song. High song, it, it's in the wrong pitch for a guy. I'll be your one. I'll go as peak. It really was absolute banger. I love jazz. I love jazz and swing music. So that was like the greatest thing. Each time. Are we doing space? Is that what we're doing? It looks like we're doing space. They're being abducted. We've got to hurry. Oh. New, new. You like jazz? I do, in fact, Ollie like jazz. No street. Believe in your, he's like, somebody help me. And then you just like go, believe in yourself. Like you just throw a ribbon at me. He's like, I believe in myself now enough to get down. <laughs> Nothing changed. Like you didn't get better. 
Like, he didn't fix the situation suddenly. He just got down. Yeah, guys, just believe in yourself. Like, I get, guys, I, I know the place is on fire. But just, like, have you tried not worrying about it? <laughs> it's like, I, I've seen the meme go around. I saw it recently. It probably isn't a very new meme. But I saw it recently with, um... Timon and Pumbaa, where it's like, guys, like, my dad my dad was killed by my uncle, and now he's trying to kill me. And Timon and Pumbaa, because their whole motto is, like, it means, like, Hakuna Matata means no worries. It's just, have you tried not effing worrying about it? <laughs> yeah, have you tried just not giving? I can't get in touch with the office block. I say this feels like I can go up. Yeah, a couple of coins. Not the best thing I could addict. Oh well. No! Newt, newt. Wow, you're amazing! Thank you! You're something special, huh? Hey, Dash! Oh, gosh! Let's put your skills to work, shall we? Sci-fi? What are we gonna be? Are we are we getting like turned into a terminator or like what's happening here? <laughs> Engage the system! Young lady, you have what it takes. What? Mighty Peach. We're like flipping Mega Man. What? We're literally Mega Man. That's incredible. Scarlet Day. It is. It is kind of epic. They probably invested more because it's a taped production. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Dang, Peach! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> we need to get to safety. Will you protect us? I will punch anything. I am... <laughs> One punch! One punch! I knew there'd be something there. Let's go! Oh no, the fire, what do we do? We do the only thing we can do. One punch! No, no, the punching did not work. Dang it, punching is not the answer, guys. Oh, do I just have to hold it? Like this? Can I put this down, maybe? 
Oh, there's no way to cross. I have a way! Violence is always the answer if you hit hard enough. Basically, and Tea Leaf, there was a Super a super Princess Peach game, which um, is a good game. The mechanics are fun, but the mechanics have not aged super well. Because it is essentially Peach Girl, Peach have emotions, and get upset or angry, and that helps her beat her problems. But the actual, like, way it works out is cool. It's just not the most, um, you know, interesting. It's just not the most uh, progressive of games. One punch! We're doing well on stars. Is that what those things are? One minute. I saw one of these earlier. Nice. Strike a pose, Peach. Wasn't that like five punches? It doesn't. No, no, no. It was, it was one. I assure you, it was one punch. <laughs> it all depends on how you're defining a punch. <laughs> Ace Adventurer. Exactly, it's the first try approach. <laughs> LJ Hall Studio, it's great to have you, friend. Thanks so much for tuning in. Glad you could make it. It's time like this calls a special invention. Hop in the lift. Are we gonna become ginormous? Are we gonna like Megazord ourselves? Jetpack! Now use the power of yours to save everyone! I think this might be my favorite suit, guys. Oh, we got these things to collect now. These bits of no! Oh, I missed one of the stars. That's so annoying. That's so annoying. I had almost all the pieces then. I just undershot it a little bit because I was so worried about punching them. Oh, so frustrating. I almost had a perfect run. Perfect run. Was lost. Oh, okay. So you're going to punch me like that. You have a shield. How and when am I supposed to punch you? Am I supposed to meet your fist? No, apparently not. Do I lose all my coins? No, I only lose 10. Okay. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how I'm supposed to beat this guy. Oh, yeah, I am supposed to punch them direct. Yeah, and then you grab the fist. Okay. Oh my god! And... Boom! Dramatic! Yeah, we almost had a perfect run. What a shame. I love One Punch, Mighty Peach, I think is the official one. It's a cool outfit as well. Yeah, we almost had a perfect run. The Mighty Dress. What 
We're doing well, though. We're doing well. I mean, I think we've probably got plenty of stars. Cowgirl Peach now. Cowgirl at dusk. That sounds like something. <laughs> it's Yeehaw time, indeed. It is, it is Yeehaw. Yeehaw time. I didn't say anything, Zuzu. What are you talking about? Like, in Nintendo, it is such a common thing in Nintendo games for things to be like that. Like, they know what they're doing in this game meant for kids. They know what they're doing. See, look, the stage horse has strings. Although not enough strings to actually do the amount of maneuvers it's been doing. So that's confusing, but sure. Star, that's good. Oh, goodness. We have to jump onto the train. Is that the plan? Force riding the top of the train, maybe? No, nope, we're just gonna do an epic dodge. Oh, it's one of these bits. Yeah, we got it that time. a rabbit head uses a jump on the train let's go what do you mean what's wrong with how what's wrong with how I pronounce yeehaw yeehaw it's not my fault it's not my fault I have an accent There must be something we can do. You gotta stop the train somehow. Hurry. Ow. That's not fair. I see you. The stream is just Tom slowly becoming American. Yeah, probably. Thanks for saving us. You're welcome. Oh. No, that's just the thing moving in the background. That's fine. Moving onwards. You're not getting past us. Oh, trying to get out of the way of those things are a right pain. Ow, I'm I'm hurting real bad. Oh, I needed those barrels to get that gem. Dang it, yeah, so you really have to um, use those things well in that section then to make that work. Why 
Wasn't going to lose another one. Yep, need a harp. What a good girl! Let's ride! New RDR game just dropped. What is an RDR game? Oh, I could take their wheels off. Ow, somehow I got hit by the front of the, the middle of the train as I like moved past it. Also, these are meant to be props. They shouldn't be damaging. I guess, like, the props and the tr could be made of stronger stuff than the tr than the t prop train. But the train looks like it's made of, like, actual metal stuff. Compared to... Also, these stages are super long. Just gotta say. Very impractical stages. <laughs> well, shucks. Thank you. Red Dead Redemption. Ah. I've never seen it written as RDR before. But I understand. I know what Red Dead Redemption is. Now it is time for Patisserie Peach. Showtime. Showtime indeed. What are they going to have me do with all my cream this time? Welcome to the spooky party. Is it spooky cream? Spooky cakes. <laughs> Don't mind Peggy. <laughs> <laughs> Tasty. <laughs> <laughs> Tom is team cream. All of Vanessa was all of all of, not Vanessa. All of um theorists was team cream. If you notice the breakdown, theorist was team cream. I'm just saying. I have it on car speaker, please. <laughs> oh, man, I've just disappeared. <laughs> Tom not being sus challenge possible. No. Um, can I do anything? I can't. I don't have like my ribbon powers like I normally do. Like, there's no fighting as Peach. My mom is sleeping. Shh. <laughs> she get monetized. Don't do this. Hey, it didn't demonetize the stream last time. <gasps> I mean, guys, <laughs> what do you expect me to do? Look, we've now got to, f we've literally got to fill Peach's cake with cream. Like, I don't just cover Peach's cake in cream. That's all they're asking us to do. Like, I, do I don't know what you want me to do here. Like, it's just, the game writes itself. 
Oh, something happened there. I was too busy looking at you guys freaking out. You have to hold A to say it's complete. I get it. I thought you were a family. <laughs> Uh, what have I got to do? Here. Perfect. Yeah. You know, what What can I say? What can I say? Clearly, Peach's cake is dangerous and it managed to kill me. This should be the most wholesome thing in Tom's <laughs> We are the master of Peach's cake! Respectfully, of course. Okay, I could do that apparently. Does that work? Okay, we can do this. Let's bake some cookies. They're not problematic. <laughs> Master of cake respectfully sounds like an asexual thing. I mean, it kind of does, doesn't it? I suppose that is true. Boom. Ribbon, baby. How dense is the cake, do you reckon? I mean, they look, they're pretty large. They look like quite dense cakes to me. <laughs> I can tell some of you have watched the GT short today. <laughs> okay, we can do this. We can do this. I'll call another to help. Yeah, because they're how you make the extra big ones. So they're definitely worth getting on board if you can. And just not screwing up also helps. And if you do this one, you get like extra ones, I think, and it goes quickly, so you have to be really careful, but you can do it. Oh no, that one's gonna blow. That's unfortunate. I wasn't paying enough attention, apparently. Yeah, we got overrun. Okay. Gosh, tricky, okay. Come on, Peach, let's do this respectfully. 
miss those guys that's unfortunate because this now takes longer yeah and so they disappear which is annoying you really want to go for the ones where there's guys in the middle of it perfect come on let's get a big one will do Oh, dang it, they went away. Right, you guys back. Let's go. Yeah, come on, you. You. Yes! Woo! The moon isn't real, but, cake, but that cake is. Tom, at some point, probably. Moon denier and cake appreciator. Always. I've always appreciated a good cake. <laughs> See, that's the thing. GLaDOS was right all along. The cake isn't a lie. The cake is real, the moon is a lie. If that was, if, 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 and this thing, if the game focused on that reality, GLaDOS would still be here. Because they couldn't have been killed by the moon because the moon doesn't exist, and the cake would have been real and we'd have all been happily, ha lived happily ever after. Miss the last one. That's a shame. <laughs> Food theory episode. Tom cameo when, when I think whenever Santi does a cake, another cake episode, he swore he doesn't like doing them because he hates baking. Um, but next time he does one, I will see if he can let me if he'll let me be on it just to talk about you know respectfully liking cake. Prime cake trauma is real. It is. But he made up for it. He made up for it with his finale cake. His finale cake was actually quite good. Ah, uh, we've unlocked another start. Yeah, because we've done two levels now. <laughs> yeah see i was talking about how dense the cake was back in the food theory finale it's always been my thing the one thing i regret doing or not doing i regret going oh it's so dense like you santi i, I regretted making that that call because that like has so many double entendres it's great Yeah, it was a missed opportunity. The problem was, is when you're in a big group environment like that, it's really hard because you're trying to not 
dominate the conversation. And it was Santi's episode as well. So I didn't want to stand there and dominate the conversation. Why is Catnap here? <laughs> Sidetrack. Yeah, I didn't want to dominate the conversation or anything. Meow. Hum, you Peach and Stella I've heard about. <clears throat> you are barely bit part in Madame Graves' esteemed production. Try as you might, try as my as you like. Yeah, Mew won't succeed. I hate the puns. I suppose Mew think you can defeat someone as grand as me, the guardian of the dark door. I'll swipe those smug expressions right off your little faces. Um. But yeah, it's really hard in moments of that because you've got this big group going on. It's Santi's episode, so I didn't want to like dominate the conversation. So I made just the thing. I just made a comment about the cake and about how it was dense. I didn't want to insult Santi in like, you know, the first time we were like on screen together, you know, uh, or it wasn't the first time we were on screen together from you guys perspective, but it was from a... um. It was from the perspective of uh, us filming, and so I was like, I don't, I don't quite feel like I'm at the point where I can um, be quite so insulting to him, which was why I then had, um, but yeah, but it's one of those things that in hindsight, yes, I absolutely probably would have, oh, come on, I absolutely would have um, said that, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of, I wanted to have a comment, but not like dominate the conversation. Oh my gosh, okay. I haven't quite figured out how this fight works yet. It's like, you got these mice. So you turn them into bombs. He's gonna do this. He's gonna get his claws out. He's gonna swing. Oh, I thought that would that was what was gonna help there. Like, what's the point of you then? How does this work? How does that work? Oh, am I meant to get them in the center so that when they jump up, they hit his face? Like that, maybe? No, no. Okay, so his hand doesn't go the whole way. What? Like, how does this work? Like, and I can't wall jump or anything, so that's not what this is about. Oh, I can push this back. I see. Okay. Let's get you centered. Like this. Is this how we do it? I'm going to guess this is how we do it. Like that. There we go. Now I understand. Now I understand. Come on, mice, come on out. Yeah, <laughs> sucks to be you, buddy. Oh, what's happening here? Oh, I can stop them just by hitting them. I did not know that. That would have been useful to know. Okay, so you're just gonna do that like that, okay. Okay. Now he's gonna do the ghost thing. We're back. Getting back into it. I'm starting to understand how this boss fight works. Whoa. 
So you're basically playing keep away. So you're trying to defend your bomb. There we go. And that should be it. It's normally the three the three hit rule, right? Booyah. Nailed that one. Okay. Oh. <gasps> what is that about? <gasps> That's the theater star lift. I wonder where the th uh if the th I wonder if the threads and then the that door was somehow keeping it from working. Okay. Maybe it's successful again because we've weakened the great magic by restoring the lower floors. Now we can get to the basement and other floors more quickly. You want to try it out? Yes, I do, because I want to go to the basement. I'm glad I didn't walk all the way down the stairs and do that bit first. Basement! So that's the one we unlocked. So it's the patisserie one we've now got, right? This one here. Let's go. Oh, we've got two, because we've got this one and the cowgirl. Blame Sarnity as Tom's blame Jason, basically. But damn, those frame rates. <laughs> Can't get over how bad those frame rates are. What's going on? What? What's going on here? Why are we so panicked? Oh. This ain't no how I wanted it to end. Oh no, we have to save the poor sparkler! Okay, here we go. to get onto the train then apparently. Oh, we're meant to go off the train at that point. Okay. Yup. Over here! This way! Oh no, it's speeding up! You, I thought I was done for. <coughs> All right, partner. Let's find a way I'll treat you to a glass of milk when we get back. 
What is it about the cowboy stereotype in drinking milk? Like, I know the cowboys drinking whiskey is normally the one, but why is it in kids' shows they're always drinking milk? I guess it's to encourage kids to drink milk. It just feels so weird. There's like, yeah, cowboys drinking milk. I guess cow is in the name. Where'd your horse go off to? And we have a carriage now, I guess. Your pal looks like she's a rare to go. Hey, the rain's up to me. Get back up there. Yeah. Oh, I've been excited to see this one. Hello, Rye. Great to have you, friend. Oh, I missed that. That's unfortunate. Oh, gosh. They're going to blow? Or just kidding. Yeah, they're falling off. All right, then. Okay. Oh. Well, okay then. Thank you, thank you. Thank you kindly. Ow. I saw someone popped into the chat and I was excited. The train's back! Oh gosh, where, where are we now? Oh my goodness, okay. We're just kind of getting flung about the place. I mean, that's not good, right? We shouldn't be seeing, like, the stage enter these weird temporal dimensions. Like, this feels wrong. This doesn't feel like what a theater should feel like, you know? That's her to the exit. Get off that bit. Well, okay then. <laughs> well, shucks. Thank you. <laughs> they have to do it in post or something. I don't know. Oh, Dan would kill me. Which level has been my favorite so far? I quite enjoyed... I've actually... I quite enjoyed Fee Thief Peach. I thought that was a fun one. I also just enjoyed the one punch. The uh, Mighty Peach I thought was really good. <laughs> cool. So now Patisserie should be here somewhere. Yeah, there you go. Showtime. Showtime. You mean Mega Man if it was peak, basically. Oh, Untrusted Life. Thank you for the $5 super chat, friend. Appreciate it. Money. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, this is a patisserie sparkler. Oh, yeah, she's going to be evil, isn't she? Because that, that's how the, the f cooking ones go, is they all turn evil. Welcome to Madame Grape's baker baking stage. <laughs> Madame Grape? What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, let's bake together. Sparkler is acting very strange. Let's hurry. Is this a thing that I have to do? Hooray! I'm 
so hungry. Well, dude, I, I've got I've got the right just the thing for you. Give me the ribbon. Thank you, sir. I've been waiting for you. <laughs> JP Ravenfire. Thank you so much for renewing your membership, friend. Appreciate it. Your call is a triple layered cake. Whoever finishes their cake first wins. So you're telling me yeah. it's about whoever puts cream on the cake fastest. That's what you're telling me right now. Oh no, I am failing this miserably. Which one of us was the fastest creamer? Okay, that was the first tier. We got it. We this is a dense cake because we got multiple layers to it. It's fine. No, no, like it's a little bit of extra cream. No one's gonna mind a bit of extra cream, especially not in that location. Cake does win. Peach's cake will always win. Peach has the best cake in Mario, obviously. Yeah, I mean, like, Ghostly, you're, you're not wrong. The sounds that this, this particular um, feat is making is not helping the situation. <laughs> Peach's cake brought them to the good side. This is the thing. All we have seen is that Peach's cake... <laughs> All we've shown is that Peach's cake can turn bad people into good people. Like, any cake should be able to. <laughs> Break our hearts out and see who's best. <laughs> Where do we where do we put these things? Like, where are we putting them up here? Oh, you got you destroyed all my cakes. That's rude.
think we've won. <laughs> Boom. Nailed it. More of a cupcake or a traditional cake fan? I think a regular cake. I've, I've found it hard to find good cupcakes that aren't super dry. That might just be the cupcakes I've had. I feel like because they're so they're smaller, they're easier to dry out. But I, I, so I tend to be a big, a proper cake fan. I prefer, I prefer a big cake to a little cake, basically. I suppose is how you could say that. I'm gonna make you not evil, but now. See, look, Ke Peach's cake literally destroys all evil. Doesn't matter, Uncle Ben Pie <laughs> beats most of them. That's not incorrect. I do love me a pie. Thank you. I was only offered cupcakes or mate or normal cakes. See, we just, like, look. Nailed it. Nailed Peach's Cakes. We are the best. Ugh. Who needs a busboy now that you got the chef? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We taste all day if we are liquor. There we go. So those ones done. Move it on. Think. Let's go to level three or level. Let's go to level one. Let's see what uh, stuff we've got. Hey, you'll all be glad to know that we are done with patisserie peach. I'm sure you'll all be glad to know that it's gone, and we are done. With 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 patisserie sh patisserie peach, I believe we do, however, have a patisserie outfit. <gasps> we can change her color. The fang dress. So clearly, the boss dress. Yeah, the boss dresses are different because that's technically like more of a magenta than a pink. So clearly, the boss dresses change her color. Um, and then that's the patisserie, and then that's the spe the cowgirl dress. Fun. Green Peach is a huge win. Absolutely huge win. Yeah, we're done. The game has decided we've had enough of Peach's cake for now. We've had our fill when it comes to the when it comes to cream. So no more no more cake levels. Oh, this was level three, so we want to go up to the final level, level four. I played enough Smash Brothers to know that Peach's cake is deadly. See, Rai gets it. Okay, so what have we got? So we got another detective. How long have we got? Another ten minutes. So we got at least time for another level. We got another detective. I assume this is the Kung Fu Peach. We've got Thief Peach, and we got another Ninja Peach. This is a good floor. Let me have a look. Let's get a poll going. Start a poll. We've got Ninja. We've got Thief. We have Kung Fu. And we had, what was the last one? Oh, it was Detective. Start the poll, baby. It is flipping back and forward. Tight race. Interesting. 
interesting. That's where we're going to end it. Interesting outcome. Detective was the top pick. That is fascinating. Then Kung Fu, then Ninja, then Thief. Let's go. The case of the rainy day plot. <laughs> Detective! Good assistant knows when to arrive at least five minutes early. Anyway, I have a tip about a possible suspect wandering around the city. Apparently, he's walking this path. Every day, and so let's you, you, you keep a sharp eye out. <laughs> I'm late. <laughs> I wonder which one the suspicious one might be. <laughs> it's gotta be him. Oh, could I have, like, hid in the box? Is that the plan? Oh! I guess I was meant to hide behind that pot? Why are you moving it, you dumb piece of crap? Then Naruto runs away. Everything going according to plan. The you know what will be ready soon. Rendezvous at the hi at our hideout. Make sure you aren't followed. Hmm. So there's some kind of plan underway. Where do you think they went off to? Seen anything suspicious? Do you know anything straight ahead? Someone trudged through a puddle. You'd never, you'd never catch someone so refined as me soaking my shoes in a puddle. <laughs> Only one of these paintings was done by the legendary artist Mir Miraculous. Miracaloose, I guess that is. I'll give you a prize, you can figure out which one it is. Mm. I love everything Miracaloose paints. But I haven't the foggiest idea which is the real deal. Please find the real painting for me. Mm. That painting of the castle was done by someone using my name. Don't be fooled. Who am I? Oh, I'm just an artist of no particular importance. So, you're the artist. So it's not the picture of the castle. Yes. Ah. So, so, so they're all gonna say bye. Mm -hmm. the castle, so they were saying it was using your name. That's a student of the arts. Mm -hmm. None of the others had that, right? I think it's this one. Mm -hmm. You are the murderer! Mm -hmm. Madam, that's just a painting. It can't murder anyone. I know they did it. I've seen these paintings. Would Have you not seen Mario 64 paintings come to life? You can jump inside there and the murderer is inside the painting. <laughs> Great. I have a keen eye. Now what? Ah. 
So I've got to find where the suspicious guy went. Oh, so there's a puddle here. Hmm. Wonder if it rained recently. So they said they went past through a puddle, so it's got to be here then, surely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did he say he went past him? No, he heard someone go through a puddle, so yeah, it has to be this door, because the other guy didn't see anything. I just realized you can do this, and it's really weird. Just keep glitching it out. <laughs> the door is the murderer! Oh. Um, well, that's unfortunate then. Then, then where where did they go then? If it's not there. We'll try here, why not? Objection! Sure. Let's not lose him this time. Dead. He moved the sign. That ain't my fault. Oh, don't you dare. You suck, you suck, you suck, you suck. Away like a coward. Hmm. Indeed. Hmm. Hey, coins. Nice. Just steal from that house. It's probably fine. Huh. Seems like the hideout. Da -da -da -da, somewhere. Okay, so we got to find which one the hideout is, I guess. Anyone suspicious? Uh, no one's been this way. Maybe they went into an apartment. Hopefully not me and my little brothers, though. We live in the apartment on the far right, so it's got to be one of these two, then. Ah. Ready to finish the you-know-what. So it's time for the three of us to meet up at the hideout. Huh. Huh. Okay, well, is anyone else going to tell me about the hideout? This character, sure, they went by uh, some new apartments up ahead. Friend into one of those apartments on the street. I hope they invite me over sometime. Oh. Rumor and I recently moved into the place with the f with a flower. So it must be you. Mm. It is this door that did the murdering. <gasps> Told you. And this is why flowers are bad. Gosh, is that only the first one? This could take a while, this level. Jeez. Quietly now. Soon, this city. And the you know what goes, you know where. I'm done. All right. The bomb is ready! BOMB! Who's there? We found out! Wait! We can solve this, friend. Nice. Plant at with the bell. Donate midnight. Donate midnight. So these are details of their plan, but it's all torn up. Hmm. Uh 
Oh, yikes. These are really dangerous chemicals. Just need to make a bomb. There's something else. Oh, cool. It's an exact replica of the city's clock tower. This looks like a map. I wonder if it's related to their plan somehow. It's model of the museum. It looks familiar, huh? It's model of a large bridge inside the city. I was like, oh, look at all these bombs. It was a disaster if any of them were to go off. <laughs> Tesco, do you think you're looking at the stars? Let's see. Mm, what's it pointing at? It's pointing at the clock tower. Yeah, so you can see. Yeah, so it's the clock tower. You can see it based on the plans on the floor. Oh, we missed one somewhere. That's fine. Nice. All right, this way, this way. How is a detective going to solve this case? Like, they're literally just getting away in front of us. This one is tilted, looks a little different. Almost as if it's been... F the number was flipped. This one's been painted over. We can't actually make out what it used to say. Lift controls. Key with the matching number. So we need a six. I have a feeling it's going to be this one. Yeah, it's gonna be this one because it's like it's just tilted, right? It's just flipped around. Uh -huh. I'm so smart, I do shapes. Uh -huh. Boom. Nah, they ain't still in the car. If only they were still in the car, it would have made our jobs a lot easier. <laughs> Thomas, what have you been up to? Nothing, nothing, dear. Nothing, dear. Don't listen to them. They don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> You're not getting by me. <laughs> nice. Where is it? Good luck, chumps. You sure won't find it on the top floor. We'll keep out the pressure. Your power of deduction will figure out where the bomb is. Guys, he just said... I, know, I, I appreciate the compliments, but like... Uh. See, Sadaloo gets it. Tom did nothing wrong. I am as innocent as they come. Hmm, the goal should be to reach the top floor. What can we do to get up there? Let's find out. There is a cog missing, I see. Mm -hmm. Do you think the Indead Spore reminds me of a gear? Yeah, I, I mean, I figured that, but... Mm. Always part of a gear. Ah. Mm. There's something inside. Ah, just coins. There's a piece. It's part of something, but what? There's another piece. Ah. Mm. Bam. Bam! <laughs> Thank you, Rai. Appreciate you, Rai. Always a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think we can use that. Well, not with that attitude. Mm. 
Uh, two ducks, a sleuth can feel driven to explore the ducts they come across. Is that right, I mean, yes, you are correct. It was all done. It was all done respectfully, guys. We all know this. Okay. So we need to change the time. Maybe. Oh, no. Oh, no. We just need to open the, the other duct, right? Or is that just... No, that is just what we kind of have to do. You! There! <laughs> Pointing at the very obvious villain behind the gear! Who is surely getting crushed by this gear. Like, his nose is getting chopped off and everything. Let's go. Oh wow, yeah, we've missed a bunch of stuff. Don't think we can use that gear. So what gear can we use then? Oh, do we have to take it out of this one? We do. So yeah, you take that gear out, you then put it here. That opens up this vent. Or duct as they're calling them. No, no, I didn't want to go back inside. Hmm. Yes, a key. We want the key. Give me the key. Now we do this. Hmm. Woo! Getting there. The bell. Mm. Under it, rectangle under it. Ah. I hear ticking over from inside the box. I think that might be the bomb. There's ticking coming from it. It's probably the bomb. Ah, it's just a ticking clock. How frustrating. Because we can see where... <laughs> Let's go for this one. <laughs> I point at the bell and the bomb was like, you got me, and just fell out. <laughs> Guys, guys, you, you need to disarm it. You need to disarm it. You can't just kind of leave it sitting there. It's still ticking. What should we do? What should we do? Yeah, throw it onto the stage. I love that this is like a stage because you can see them moving still. So it's the stage lighting changing while they're holding each pose. That was a fun little theater moment there. I appreciated that. Mm -hmm. Case closed. Thank you so much. And that would unlock another detective thing for us to do next time, which is fun. I forget, is this an auto save game or is this a manual save game? They really nailed the aesthetics in the game. They did. They really, really did. It's a beautiful, beautiful game. Yeah, I think this game is an auto save game. So, with that, we are going to end for today. So, thank you, everybody, so much for joining me 
on this wild and wacky journey that we call Peach Showtime. I really, really appreciate you. If you haven't already, please do hit that like button. And of course, if you're new, consider subscribing. It really, really helps out. Thank you to our members, especially our Dapper Advisors, Untrusted Life and Zekron. We appreciate you both very, very much. Uh, there will be no stream on Saturday. I've got uh, some time booked in with my family. So uh, it's my... It's... We're celebrating my nephew's first birthday. It's not his first birthday that day. We're celebrating it around this time. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go see him and spend some time with family, which is going to be good. So, thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Yes, oh, yes, Ghostly, thank you. Um, Daylight Savings in the UK finally kicks in this weekend. So, streams for all you Americans out there will be going back to the regularly scheduled times, which is, if you're EST, it is, so, it will be 7 p.m. GMT, that then is 2 p.m., no, yes, 2 p.m. P uh, EST and 11 a.m. PST, that is the plan, so uh, please do remember, um, yes, please do remember uh, to uh, just keep that in mind when you're where, wondering where the streams are, it's because of daylight savings, so apologies for that, um, losing the entire show's game. Oh, Scarlet. But yeah, that is going to be a plan. So yeah, no stream. Saturday, we will be back on Tuesday. So thank you, everybody, once again, so much for watching. This has been really, really fun. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. So ta-ta for now.